Uh, uh, hello? Can I ask you a question? Today, there are 45 windows open in the village. They should be more careful. 45 windows open? And why should they be careful, Hugo? The, the stars, they, they were shining a lot last night. The, the wind is going to come strong. How do you know that, Hugo? Hugo knows. You can look at the sky real well, always. Huh. Well, then we'll see. But I'll close mine just in case. Oh, well, by the way, where's your... Uh, Hugo's house? My house is everywhere. E everywhere. Okay, Hugo. But your parents' house, where is that? I like trees. Hugo sleeps well with trees. I like trees a lot too, Hugo. Oh, well. I'll leave you then. I'm, I'm going to close my windows. Bye. Mrs. Hilda, not too tough today? Oh my, well, things aren't great, you know, dear. How oh, I miss being your age, Emma. Can I call you Emma? Of course, Hilda. And what were you doing back then? Well, back when I was 20 years old, I was a model. A top model, as we say today. I worked for all the big couture houses of that time. I was a tall and beautiful woman full of life, not all bent and wrinkled like I am today. I'll show you the magazines if you'd like. Yes, I would like that. I love fashion. But you still look really good, you know. And of course, the most important thing is to stay young at heart. Oh, yes, you're so very right, my dear. <laughs> I have always made sure to stay that way. The nonchalance of youth is so nice. And nonchalant, I can tell you I was. But I still had my head on my shoulders. Oh, I would love it if you would tell me about it, Hilda. Well, um, 
It all started here in Bellu, in this village where I was born. I had just turned 21 and I was working as a hairdresser in a salon which no longer exists. One day, a beautiful car pulled up in front of the window and a man got out, handsome like no one I'd ever seen. He wanted his hair trimmed before a business meeting. I don't know what my boss was thinking that day, but he asked me to take care of him. The man came up to me, and when our eyes met, you know, my dear, well, it felt like love at first sight. And I knew right then and there that he wouldn't be leaving without me. Incredible! It's the real start to a fairy tale. And what was the name of this true love? Henry. And he was madly in love with me. And so, did you leave with him? Yes. I did his hair, and then I followed him. Henry set it all up, but my mm. boss never really understood. As for the rest, I'll have to tell you another time. I'm a bit tired now, my dear. Okay, whenever you like, Hilda. But I can't wait to hear the rest. Hello, Chloe. So, what's new in the village today? Hey, Emma. Oh, in the village, not much, you know. We're not in Paris here. Nothing ever happens in this hall. Chloe, the quiet of the country also has its charms. And life in the city is not necessarily exciting. Of course it is. Everything in Paris is exciting. That's where the stars are. If you want to get started in the star system, be a queen of the night, that's where you have to go. For sure. You want to be one of the stars of Paris's nightlife, Chloe? Oh, yes. I want to become a star. Star, you know, like in the sky. And the aliens told me I could. They had just come from there. Um, you're saying that you met aliens from space and that they spoke to you? Well, yeah. And they even said not to tell anyone. They told me they were here incognito, just passing through. They were casting. And they told me I was chosen to be in their big show. Oh, really? And just what did these aliens look like? Uh, well, I didn't get to see them. They said it was dangerous for my eyes, that I needed special glasses and everything. But I heard their voices. It's funny, they spoke in their nose. Where did you meet them? I was going home to the farm. After work, I was on the old path. They were hidden by the hedge. Was it a long time ago? It's been a while. You hadn't got here yet. They told me they'd jet me out of here in a flash. Must be the kind of spaceship they ride. But they'll come, I'm sure. Sure, Chloe. Of course.